for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, couldn't find that. I think the uh, <laughs> the the so, um, so Sarah, I, um, so you've been doing it for twenty years now, and so you uh, delved into like doing stuff behind the scenes and stuff. Like, how did that process happen? Is that sort of like a player coach role? How does that work for you? You know, um, I started like directing my own scenes kind of right away. Like, I got my website nineteen years ago, and I would say within a couple of years of having my site, I started to direct scenes. And um, having a website is like a beast that you have to constantly feed. So um, I turned that into like a full on production company and had new, you know, I've got numerous like cameramen and editors. And then I also have a distribution deal with um, Pure Play Media and a broadcast broadcasting deals come through occasionally and stuff. So that's super cool. But directing myself, um, it's like a little bit of a challenge. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like I have a hell of a time orgasming when I'm directing. Like I, I do like, I just, I can't fully like relax. Cause I'm like wondering about how everything is, you know, like it's so you can't oh, so focus yeah, on the orgasm you're, like yourself. You're, you're in it and then you're directing at the, at the same time. And uh, yeah, not all the times, but often, like I would say probably like half the time I'm directing myself and, also have you ever had to like give <laughs> stage directions mid-sex or something like, totally like we have to so fucking funny. Yeah. pop a dick out and be like move that camera so to the this, <laughs> so this is um yeah this is i'll be like, I'll be like cut i'll be like okay <laughs> I need you to be over here though, because you're missing the shot. Because the shot is not my face and titties. The shot is the dick and the pussy. Right. So like, yeah, no, we have to do that all the time. Like, so that, let me ask you that because th funny. this is a, a, um, you know, like if you did it because of your love of sex to explore these things, right? Yeah. But is it to a point because you're directing yourself often that it's not fun, or are you still having fun? Or is it the, the or is it the creative aspect of it that's fun? Yeah, now that I've gotten older and that I've also been in the industry a long time, I get a lot of satisfaction out of all kinds of different aspects of my job. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I take part sometimes in writing the scripts. I do have two script writers also, but sometimes I write the scripts. Sometimes I do the directing. Sometimes, um, you know, sometimes I run the camera. So. Uh, for me, it's just to see like something go from like an idea to like a finished product and mm. like done well right. and creating like images that I know are going to last in people's minds for like a long time. Mm -hmm. That That's like what kind of drives me now, you know, like. Wow. So and how do you venture from that out into the other stuff you're working on? Like I know you uh, you have a CBD oil thing that you're doing as well. So how does that work? You know, I've always been part of the cannabis community in like one way, shape or form. And um, I feel that like a lot of the CBD products are so helpful. And now that CBD is legal federally and pretty much anybody can take CBD, you know, like I've got grandmas that buy my products and, you know, my mom loves the massage oil. Like, so uh, it can be for a lot of different generations and, Part of the cool thing is, is you can get some of the aspects and the benefits of cannabis without actually getting high. You know, a lot of people don't want to be high, but they might suffer from pain or inflammation. Um, yeah, or my grandfather pain. doesn't need a buzz at 93 yes, years he old. he does, bro. Right? He doesn't want it. The fuck he need is some weed, man. Yeah, like he's already fucking up his prescription. He's old. Pain, right? I don't understand old people that be sober. Fuck you old and sober for. I don't be know, I. man. <laughs> I agree with you, though. Like, that's the way I'm going out. Like, <laughs> yes. Well, like, yeah, I mean. enjoy the last few years. You have I'm 80 years old on a fucking eighth of shrooms just going, man. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah J's going to be tearing up the old folks home at 75, just ripped up high and still fucking. <laughs> LSD to the face. She's like, I don't got any grandkids coming over. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's right? tear this place yes. apart. Yeah, that is it is kind of great. That is kind of a great thought. To be, I'll be like the one causing the rockets at the old folks home. Can I ask, do, do, you still in, do you still enjoy the sex even though you're directing now? I mean, or yeah, it, you know, I don't direct constantly and I definitely still enjoy the sex. Like, of course. Um, yeah, like 
sometimes like making pizza. Sometimes I forget about enjoying the sex, and all of a sudden I have a scene that makes me remember. I was like, damn, that was great. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> right. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.